Hello guys, welcome to the Life Coding channel and today I am going to show you how to create a text to speech software without any kind of programming knowledge or coding knowledge. You just simply need to use the notepad and some few lines to make it happen. So let's see how to do that. Please do subscribe on my channel and click on the notification icon to get latest video updates. So for this uh, you need to go to your start menu and type not that and we are basically trying to write some lines of code using the visual basic script that is the VBS script and the VBS is may basically the some question some sort of coding script that is used by Microsoft Windows itself so it's already in there so you don't need to install any kind of environment then or programming environment we just need to write some lines of code and then save it using the extension .vbs. So for this, uh, as I have told that, I would like to convert a text file into a speech. So for that, we need to create a. We need to start it using such way. Set. I'm giving a file system name or something of the name, and we will basically create an object. So create an object of our system file so scripting the dot file system object basically we are uh, dealing with the file system so we have to write this thing then we would like to like to show an input box for the user that where he, he will put the name of the file or give the location of the file so for this we will make input box and then, and then give some title select file select something so it will be some text in, into the input box and then we will also take the file for it so give it a name like so we are taking the file system object and then as we are like to open that file so open text file and what we like to take or open we would like to open that input box file name that the user input so name so basically it's taking the name that is given by the user in the input box so it take the name and open that file open the text file and then we need to read that content of the file so file dot read all we would like to read all the content of the file so read file then our text file has been read by the system that is and it is on the content for content file or content object it's a mainly an string so all the thing that has been read by the file it is now on the content so now we need to make the content to speech so for this we need to create the create another object that is speech i'm giving it a name like speech and that, that object would be a sap object so i'm giving sap is the speech api of microsoft so sapi voice we would like to use sapi voice object and what we would like to do we would like to speak that content so speech dot speak and what do it it will speak it will may basically speak the content so it will be content so look at the code again and that's it and it will make make it happen so basically we are creating a file object system file system that is fso so it keep it like this because we are dealing with files so it should be fso then we are asking for the user that he should enter into the name of or location of the file that he wants to make this page so it's giving the name and taking a name and then we like to open that file so it will it is then this name would go here it will open that text file and then we would like to read the content so this file we would like to read all and then it will come to the content 
and after getting the content we would like to make it to speech so for this we need to create an object of the sapi object that is the speech api of microsoft so it will create that object sapi and sapi has a function name speak it will then read the content so we would like to make the sapi object to speak the content that has been read by the file or the user has input the file so that's it that's the six lines of code and then then you need to save it so file save and then all files select all files and give it a name like text, anything you like text to speech dot and the, that's the important part here so you need to enter vbs as i have told you before that it is a virtual uh, visual basic not virtual sorry it's a visual basic script so you need to be aware of that and you need to input that extension dot vbs not not you don't need to in, input that dot txt because it's not a txt file it is mainly a vbs script that we have re written so you need to save it now okay and and that's it and i have created text file for you it is the file okay so it's the location is e dot ts test no, that is text test so now i wanna run it and and you can see that it's asks for the input file location so this dot txt as you can see that it is that ts test so if you now click ok live to coding solutions for lifetime exist through dedication and passion to help students learners and career seekers find their passion in the life to coding we share our knowledge so that you will be knowledgeable for we are somehow became a learner and continuously learning for lifetime and that's it and uh, any as you can see that uh, whenever it is start to speak something it doesn't stop and we cannot stop it so i find a solution for that to make it stop whenever we would like to it's basically creating a uh, uh, w script so we need to kill that script and so we need to go to start menu and then type notepad again and here we would like to kill that task so it would be task kill slash f and we would like to make it forcefully and then the name that is the w script this is the main thing that is controlling the vbs script here so we need to kill it because we don't we want to interrupt the text file or the speech thing text to speech uh, process so we need to kill it in the middle on and whatever we would like to die we would like to kill it so it, that's the thing and you need to you need to save it file save and give it a name like kill dot B8 because it's a batch file and select file type that is all file and give it a name like kill dot batch it's a batch file and save it okay and now run it again and the file name is e test dot txt live to coding solutions for life so you can see that whenever i call that batch file it mainly ki kills the w script so it and you can easily then control your file you can input any text file and then kill it or stop it anywhere you like please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like our facebook page and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up hope this help thank you